we are asked to perform the indicated operation because if a fraction bar represents division, we will perform polynomial along division. Looking at the numerator or the dividend, notice how we have x to the fourth plus 11x cubed minus 178x plus 15. Because there is no x squared term, we will include a 0x squared term when setting this up for long division. Whenever there are missing terms, we should always include zero terms so that the like terms line up vertically. So for this dividend, we will have x to the fourth plus 11x cubed plus 0x squared minus 178x plus 15. And then we have divided by the divisor of x plus six. And now to begin the division process, we only look at the first term of the dividend and the first term of the divisor. And we ask what times x is equal to x to the fourth, which is x to the third, which is the first term of the quotient. And we write the x to the third or x cubed above the x cubed term of the dividend, which is here. Another way to determine this term is to divide x to the fourth by x, which does give us x to the third. And now we multiply x to the third in the divisor and write it below the dividend, lining up the like terms. x cubed times x is x to the fourth. And then x cubed times six is six x cubed, giving us plus six x cubed. And now just like performing long division with whole numbers, we now subtract. But when performing log division with polynomials, instead of subtracting, it'll be easier to add the opposite, which means we can change this to addition as long as we change the sign of the terms inside the parentheses, which means now we have negative x to the fourth plus negative six x to the third. And now adding x to the fourth plus negative x to the fourth is zero. 11x to the third plus negative 6x to the third is positive 5x cubed. And now we bring down the next term of the dividend, which means we bring down plus 0x squared. And now we'll see why we added this zero term. Repeating the process, we only look at the 5x cubed and the x in the divisor and ask what times x is equal to 5x cubed, which is 5x squared, giving us a plus 5x squared in the quotient. Again, if we need to, we can divide 5x cubed by x, which does give us 5x squared. Now we multiply 5x squared and the divisor. 5x squared times x is 5x cubed, and 5x squared times six is 30x squared, giving us plus 30x squared. So notice how in multiplying the 5x squared and the divisor, we do get an x squared term, which again is the reason why we added the zero x squared term in the dividend so that the like terms line up vertically. And now we subtract by adding the opposite. So we change this to addition, change this to negative five x cubed plus negative 30 x squared. Adding here we have opposites and therefore the sum is zero. And then here we have zero x squared plus a negative 30 x squared, which gives us negative 30 x squared. Bring down the next term, which means you bring down minus 178 x and now only looking at the negative 30x squared and the x in the divisor, we ask what times x is equal to negative 30x squared, which is negative 30x, giving us a minus 30x in the quotient. Or again, if needed, we can divide negative 30x squared by x, which does give us negative 30x. And now we multiply negative 30x and the divisor. Negative 30x times x is negative 30x squared and then negative 30x times six is negative 180x, giving us minus 180x. And now we subtract by adding the opposite. So we change this to addition, change this to positive 30x squared plus 180x. And now adding, here we have opposites again. This sum is zero. Here we have 178x plus 180x, which gives us positive 2x. Now we bring down the last term in the dividend, which is the plus 15, and repeat the process one more time. Only looking at the 2x and the x in the divisor, we ask what times x is equal to 2x, which is two, giving us a plus two in the quotient. Or again, if we need to, we can divide 2x by x, which does give us two. And now we multiply two in the divisor. Two times x is 2x, 
Then we have 2 times 6, which gives us plus 12. And again, we now subtract by adding the opposite. So we change this to addition, change the sign here, and change the sign here. 2x plus negative 2x is 0. 15 plus negative 12 is positive 3. Because we have used all the terms in the dividend, the positive 3 here is the remainder, which we write over the divisor, and therefore the final answer is x to the third plus 5x squared minus 30x plus 2 plus 3 over the quantity x plus 6. Because the remainder is positive 3, we have addition here. If it was negative, we would have subtraction. So this is our final answer, but I do want to mention that sometimes you may be asked to express the final answer as the quotient of x cubed plus 5x squared minus 30x plus 2, and then because the remainder is 3, sometimes we'll just say the remainder r is equal to 3. So just make sure you give the final answer in the form requested. I hope you found this helpful.